Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Hope you're all having a good day. Today I have an 18 by 24 inch canvas. I've prepared it on the back as normal with tape push pins. And I have a thin layer of the uh, Artist Law Flow Acrylic White uh, covering the whole canvas, the sides and the corners. I'm going to be doing an open cup traveling pour today. I enjoy doing these and uh, let's get started talking about the paint. I have today Artist Law Flow Acrylic White. I have a combination of Amsterdam, Ma Naples Yellow Red and Liquitex Basics Naples Yellow Hue. I did mix those together. The next color is another combination. They're both Amsterdam Vermilion and Azo Yellow Deep. My next color is Amsterdam Carmine. And the next color is Amsterdam Sky Blue Light. And I, ate, I added a few shakes of mica powder called Haze with that paint. My next color is Grumbacher Prussian Blue. My next color is another combination, Amsterdam Permanent Green Deep and Artist Loft Metallic Leaf Green. And my last color is Amsterdam Pearl Green, and I did add mica powder, powder to this paint. It's Green Pearl Dry, and it made a really pretty color. So consistency today leaves a little mound, not much, and then disappears. A little bit on the thinner side. All the paints today were mixed with about two and a half parts Floetrol to one part paint and a squirt of GAC 800 was added to all paints. No silicone today. So let's get started. And I will put a little bit of white around the cup to help it move. And no particular order for the colors today. And do feel free to fast forward if you would rather not watch adding all the colors. I really do like this really, really light green, minty green here. And I will try and help the cup go in the right direction. And I am thinking I want to leave a little bit of negative space here today, so I'm not sure I'm going to use all my paints up. Add a little white here. Prussian blue. sky blue light the greens
I was watching another artist do one of these the other day. She made a good point. This is one way that you can pretty much put any color right next to any other color without having to worry about it getting too muddy. And it is true because you're not putting it all in one cup and then either flipping or dragging it across where the paints were already pre-mixed. See if I can get this to move down a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna tip it your way a little bit. Inside the cup right now, the paints look so pretty. Just use a little bit more here. And tip it towards me. Okay, move my paints out of the way a little bit. And I don't think I'm going to torch right now. I have quite a few cells here. That must be from the uh, Floetrol. I think I'll just move my paints just around on the canvas a little bit. See what I get.
turn my canvas around here. Set it down here a minute. Looks like I have something in here in a couple of spots. Now's the time to get that out. I think I will tip it off at that end. Take another look here. Tip it this way a little bit. And back. Take another look here. See how I like this composition? I may tip it just a little bit this way. I kind of like the, the jagged edge look rather than just a real smooth edge when you have negative space left. And that's kind of what I'm trying to go for up here in this corner. More like that. So I'm gonna bring it back down just a little bit. Take another look. And I think I'll torch now. I think I'll just tip it a little bit this way. I 
and bring it back. Take another look. Check my corners, clean off the bottom. I'm going to add a little bit of white down here just to clean that corner up a little bit. And torch one more time. I'm pretty happy with the results of this painting. I really like the composition. And I'll tell you my favorite parts. Let's get you down for a close up. can see where I have to fix up a corner here. Okay. Okay, here we have the upper left hand corner. And I do really like the dark blue with the light blue and then the white cells coming up. These are some very large white cells there. And I, ha I did get some lacing, which is really, that's really neat too. And this is the lower left-hand corner. Red is very pretty in here. And then we have a lot of orange and a little bit more of that lacing right in there. It's very pretty, that orange right there. Very, very vibrant. And it's a little bit, that lighter orange down here. Here's white cells with lots of little red cells in them. And this is the lower right hand corner here. A lot of cell action going on there. A lot of different cells. And here's more of that lacing. And I really like this corner up in here very pretty all those colors and all that the different effects going on there so i'm pretty happy with this painting so let me know what you think if you like this video give me a thumbs up or like share subscribe hit the bell and select all so you'll know the next time that i do post a new video I'll give you a little close up here. And until next time, take care everybody. Bye.